So for my independent project, I did stop motion and I wanted to make a like animated music video to the song that I liked and so that's what I did and if you want to see the video, uh, the link will be in the description. So I, um, yeah, I did the storyboard, I did my storyline on a whiteboard and had cameras, had my ca phone camera set up on a tripod and used um, lights and stuff and taped them down and stuff so the things wouldn't move. What I used was I used an app on my phone that I was that one of the YouTube videos that I watched one of the tutorials they recommended this app and said it was free and that they and so I tried it out and um, it worked pretty well I liked it a lot um, so if you look at the picture the bottom picture you there's like multiple movies that I have in my library and um, so what I did was I took my storyline and I split it into sections and I shot different sections and um, for each like different part so then I could like put them all together later and each like um, nitpick each um, section the way it needed to be um, so yeah um, when you open the app and you start a new movie the left picture is what it looks like and it brings up your camera and um, you can see the kind of see the tripod in that picture and that's the tripod that I used and I put my phone on the tripod and I used my headphones and I taped it down to the table and I used the volume button as like a shutter to take the pictures easier rather than tapping the screen and um, so once you've taken all of the pictures, and so like with me, when I finished a section, I would hit the back button and it would take me to the right picture and it would, um, if you hit play, it would play all of your pictures. So it put it together for you and you could, um, like, um, watch it and see how you liked it. And then if you needed to take more pictures, you could just hit the camera button in the top right and add more pictures in where you need them to be, which was kind of cool. Um, so then you could also like individually each photo, you could like edit each one of them. And I didn't ever edit mine. I only used this option to delete them if I needed to. But you could obviously add, like, writing to it or um, text or whatever you needed to. And um, so I just deleted, I, like, would use that to delete pictures that maybe had, like, sometimes I got, like, my marker in the shot on accident or c computer in the shot on accident. So I would just de delete those. And sometimes I accidentally took multiples of my pictures and just deleted them and stuff. And then you could also, um, like pick what speed you wanted it to play at and like the how long you wanted like in between each photo and stuff and so that was kind of nice and that's why I liked doing it in sections so like different scenes like where maybe he was like walk like my little character was like walking needed to be faster than my other scenes or something so I would like speed that up and they would just be different speeds and stuff so that's partially why I did it in sections and stuff um, so then I put it all together in iMovie, and, um, so I put all the sections together in iMovie, and then I added my music, and then I cut my music in iMovie, too. So...